everyone. Welcome to the 1000 MCQ series of Pharmacist, Analyst and Drug Inspector Examination. This is our exclusive course for Analyst Grade 3 exam. So let's get ready. Coming to the first question of the day, which one of the following compounds is useful for the stimulation of cell division and the release of lateral blood dormancy? The options are Zetin, 2,4-D, that is 2,4-dichlorophenoxyastic acid, indolastic acid or picloride. Now, Zetin, Zetin is a type of cytokine. What is the main function of cytokines which help in cell division and growth as well as lateral growth, right? Now, coming to 2,4-D, 2,4-D or 2,4-dichlorophenoxyastic uh, acid, it is a synthetic auxin. Auxin help in elongation of shoot cells. Now, coming to IAA, IAA is a natural form of auxin. Now, natural form of auxin help in plant growth and development. Okay. Now, coming to picloram, it is a herbicide. Herbicide means it will disrupt the plant growth. Now, coming back to the question, here they are asked which simulate the cell division as well as release the lateral blood dormancy. Yes, the answer will be a cytokine. So, which is the cytokine? It is ZT. So, the answer is ZT. To the next question. Inhibition or induction of which of the following cytochrome P450 enzyme system is most likely to be involved in important drug drug interactions? And yes, these are CYP3A4, CYP2D6, CYP2C9, or CYP1A2. Now, these all are cytokine pre P450 enzymes. Coming to the first one, that is CYP3A4, it is a most abundant form of cytokine P450. This is present in the human liver. Now, this particular enzyme is mainly involved in the metabolism of wide range of drugs, and it is one of the main enzymes which is responsible for many types of drug drug interactions also. Now, coming to CYP2D6, these are mainly involved in the metabolism of antidepressant antipsychotic and beta blockers coming to cyp2 c9 it mainly involved in the metabolism of warfarin and certain type of NSAIDs. now coming to 1a2 category it is mainly for caffeine and certain type of antidepressants right so the answer for this question will be cyp3 a4 coming to the next question which of the following species is being inactivated by the enzyme dipeptidyl peptidase 4. Now, the options are oxytocin, vasopressin, ingredients, or glucagon. Now, let's see. Dipeptidyl peptidase 4 or DPP4 enzyme. This particular enzyme inhibits ingredients. Now, what is this ingredient? Ingredients are mainly hormones that are released in our gut. In response to food, which means whenever we are having food, these incretins are released. Now, this incretin has the main role of this hormone is to regulate blood glucose levels. Incretin mainly increases sensitivity of this insulin as well as decreases the release and functioning of glucagon. Now, by using the DPP4 uh, enzyme or this particular drug, we can help the patients with type 2 diabetes to improve glucose control. Right? So, this is the scenario. So, here I am asking the question which species is being inactivated by the enzyme DPP4? Yes, the answer is incretin, which is present in the gut. Now, coming to the next one. Patients taking isosorbide mononitrate or nitroglycerin should be advised not to take sildenafil. Now, this drug drug interaction causes which of the following actions? So, here there are two drugs isosorbide mononitrate or nitroglycerin along with sildenafil. The options are respiratory failure, severe hypotension, prolongation of QT interval, or myocardial ischemia. So here the answer will be severe hypotension. As we know, whenever we are combining sildenafil along with isosorbide mononitrate, or nitroglycerin, it can cause significant decrease in the blood pressure. This decrease in blood pressure will lead to what? It will lead to severe hypotension. So, as a result of this, it can lead to dizziness, lightheadedness, 
painting and even cardiovascular collapse so here the answer will be severe hypertension now come to the next one rhabdomyolysis it is a side effect associated with which of the following class of drugs yes is it ace inhibitors statins calcium channel blockers or sodium channel blockers yes statins are a particular class of drug that mainly lower the cholesterol levels right while they are they are really safe and these are also prescribed they can cause a rare condition known as rhabdomyolysis so in this condition what happens is that there is muscle breakdown this muscle breakdown will lead to the release of harmful substances into the blood stream now this substance will lead to what the damage of kidney so this is basically the condition and the drug class which causes this condition is statins so here the answer for this question will be option b statins right Which of the following is the most effective monotherapy for raising HDL cholesterol? Is it statins, niacin, ezetimibe, or omega-3 fatty acids? Yes, niacin or vitamin B3, also we call it as nicotinic acid. So this is the most effective monotherapy for what for raising HDL level. That is. high density lipoprotein cholesterol levels now how this work it work by increasing the production of hdl right so here the production of hdl increases which helps to remove the excess cholesterol from the blood and transport it to liver for excretion yes so here the monotherapy for raising hdl it is straight forward it is niacin or vitamin b3 also known as nicotinic acid So option B will be the answer for this question. Which of the following statements is false for artemisin? Artemisin drug for malaria. Now, is it? It is a sequestrin, lactone, endo peroxide. It is a drug of choice in prophylaxis of malaria. It does not cure relapsing malaria. It is useful in the treatment of cerebral palsy pattern malaria. Yes, here the uh, question is which of the following is false? Okay, so which one is false? It is a drug of choice in prophylaxis of malaria. As we know, artemisin and its derivative are not used, or it is not the drug of choice for the prophylaxis of malaria. This particular compound is mainly used for the treatment of active malaria infections. Okay, right. especially as given in option D, it is mainly used for cerebral palsy pattern malaria. Now, artemisin is a sequestrin lactone. Uh, and its endoperoxidase and it is effective in the treatment of symptoms of malaria so th this particular option is one is the false one right so option b again will be the correct answer to this particular question which of the following used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis is not a biologic response modifier yes is it anakindra leflunomide Tanisib or infliximab. As we know, as we know, leflunomide. What is leflunomide? It is a dermatitis, which means disease-modifying anti-rheumatoid drug. It modifies the disease. Is it a BRF? So it is not a biologic response modifier. What about other options? Enakintra. It is a biologic response modifier. It is an interleukin one receptor antagonist. Etanisib. It is TNF inhibitor, tumor necrosis factor inhibitor. Infliximab. It is also a TNF inhibitor. That is tumor necrosis factor inhibitor. Right. So the correct answer for this question will be leflunomide. Now, come to the next question. Which one of the following is not an example of G protein coupled receptor or GPCR receptor? Now, the first option is muscarinic cholinergic receptor. Alpha adrenoreceptor, nicotinic cholinergic receptor, or beta adrenoreceptor. Yes, it is a direct question. The answer is nicotinic cholinergic receptor. What is this GPCR receptor? It is mainly G protein coupled receptor. Right? It is a large family. Here, the main thing that we have to notice it is a seven transmembrane domain receptor. Now, what is this nicotinic cholinergic receptor? If it is not a GPCR receptor, it is an ion channel receptor. Right? It is not GPCR. Now, 
the C option will be the correct answer for this question. Coming to the last question of the day, what is chemo taxes? So in this question, they have asked a particular term, chemo taxes. Is it the toxicity of chemicals, taxonomy of chemicals, inhibition of inflammation, or movement of leukocytes in inflammation? Yes, the correct answer is. Chemotaxis refers to the movement of an organism or a cell in response to chemical stimulus, which means if we look at the as you can see here, is it not it's not the toxicity of chemicals, it is not the taxonomy of chemicals, it is not the inhibition of inflammation, it is actually the movement of cell that is leukocyte is a cell in inflammation in response to a chemical stimulus. The option D will be the correct answer. This is our exclusive course for Kerala PSC Analyst Grade 3 examination. So let's get ready to crack this exam. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.